one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com, and this one here is a 1984 Buick Skyhawk and um, hubcaps. I should have got them, but when I looked online to get them, you know, they're anywhere from 40 bucks to actually, they're anywhere from 20 bucks, but I don't want them sets. They're anywhere from 40 bucks to 89 bucks, but there's so many different kinds wire and full chrome and all original Buick and Pontiac and stuff, but your choice man and I'll tell you they look good like they are with just a black steel wheel and it's just a clean car but I just wanna I didn't want to make a pick so I didn't make a pick it's your pick nice clean little economical car and this is kind of a, just a once around I already did the day exterior review on the car and so I'll clip that in after this I'm gonna do this one first and make this the first one to where you see the interior first I guess because of that hubcap disclosure um, so I want to show you the insides um, it's in great shape I got the Sun going down there just beautifully for the shots I think the door panels are just beautiful um, not anything to really go wrong with it on this um, one thing that is missing is the passenger mirror and the headliner um, I can get this headliner done for about 140 to 180 for you easy deal a um, little bit of wear on the pedal not much at all um, no wear on the kick panel thing down here. Beautiful shape. A little mark right there, like glue or something maybe, I don't know. Seats are just in great shape. Great shape. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood. Those are 79, 184. Console shift. Oh yeah. Little coins and money clip. That's a big fat money clip for this little car. Carpets are in great shape. Look at a little stain there. I don't know if it's a burn or not. Kind of feels like either gluish or burnish. But there's no foul odors or odors, odors or smells in it. It doesn't smell to have been smoked in. Um, it's in great shape. I think I've said that two or three times. Dash is just beautiful. I can get these keys out and show you in the trunk. An upside down one. No. Just fit in there, odd. It's in great shape. All the seals and everything, the lights work and all. There's your build codes. I don't have the auto check with me. Um, I should have it when I get back to the house there. I'll take it and show you. I don't know what that is. And... It looks like a little gash right there. Yeah, they gashed it with something on accident, it looks like. It's a beautiful shape. Rear package tray is in good shape, as you can see there. And then the door panels are just clean as can be. It's a very, very clean car. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's your book. Looks like it got a little wet on the top at one point. But, wow, and he's got stuff all marked out. Or marked on. Oop, one of the pages is torn there. Hang on, hang on now. There we go. Love the Skyhawk logo. And that is that. I'm gonna get a picture of that while I'm at it. And put it back for you. Check out this motor. Sunroof. Excuse me. Okay, hang on a second. Here. Sorry about setting this down like this. Whoa! That's right, this one has a nice strut on it. Light works and all. Look at this. Clean as can be. It has been 134A retrofit. So it has been retrofit, but I don't think it blows. 
nice cold. Different kind of pump on it. And so it definitely turns. Probably just needs a charge or has a cracked hose. But AC and that stuff's all there. Ooh, it's, oh yeah, it has a new starter and solenoid. Clean, clean, clean. And that's what I like on these is a nice clean car. And this is a nice clean car. A little 2.0, I think. Okay. One owner car guy. One owner car guy .com. And that's pretty much your interior review. I went around this thing, showed you the outside. That'll be coming up. I want to make sure I've showed you everything on the inside. I'm going to flip the lights on and we're going to go for a test drive. One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. And I just did the exterior video, went around this car and showed it all. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the test drive. So this is your car. It's an 84 Skyhawk and it's a nice little car. I just seen this Olympic sticker in it. I've actually seen it before and forgot to mention it going around it. I think they actually might have gave this to somebody who was participating or coming in from a foreign country or something. A couple things I didn't show you before that I'll show you right there. And with that, we're going for a test drive. These handles always trip me out how they were on the side there. J body. It's got the book in there and everything. Light comes on. <laughs> Look at this. Coins and money clip. Baby, that's a money clip and a half. No smoking. And a lighter. I don't think the car's been smoked and I just thought I'd show you the no smoking thing. And we're out of here. A little bit of a rattle on the dash sometimes, which these cars are kind of notorious for it in the J body. Um, you're up to 40 in no time. Um, that's my mom. Hi mom. Oh man, you honestly, you hit that power band, that thing's gonna go. We'll do, we'll do it on the next hill, I'm already going too fast. Well, not too fast, just the speed limit. Hey now, don't come out, we're gonna be coming down this hill. It's just what we do. Okay, we'll see if we can hit that power band right here. Holy smokes, man. The car goes. Oh yeah, it's gonna try this out again. The, the AC, I don't think blows cold. It blows cool, but they told me it blows cold and I got in it and, you know, it wasn't ice cold. I know these things don't blow 40 degrees or nothing, but it should blow colder than what it is, that's for sure. It's not, so it can use a charge. A lot of times with these older one and two owner cars like this, um, I get them and they, um, they haven't been converted, so they need the nipples from Walmart where you can put the R134A in it instead of the R12. Um, I'm just gonna cut that off though because so you can hear me. I could give it a bit more of a horn there, but I'm trying to be good in the residential. New park. I do my wow, that guy is just going to town. He's like, I'm out of here. I was worried about cops, not now. Look at that guy, not me. Red, red car. And it definitely is a nice little car. People do a double take at it. They're like, whoa, what is that? Nobody really knows what it is. It was very popular back in the day, but you just don't see them anymore. Um, and they drive, they're very durable little cars. Um, this one, I believe one owner, check my eBay ad, it's one or two. And 79,000 original miles. Hard to beat. And I mean, the tires roll down the road. They ain't gonna be. Well, I can't say they won't be blowing out tomorrow. Oh, you got some dry rot on that back one. It's not a very nice tire. I would get the tires changed. Guy, one owner car guy.com 
And check out my channel. I've got all kinds of um, clean, unique, little classic Euro muscle cars on there. I sell them cheap and stuff like this. It's just cheap, good, reliable little mile per gallon wheels. Um, it don't matter how low a miles, it can have like 10,000 miles. And still, you can have a problem with a fuel pump, a hose, belts. This has got a new starter. You can have a problem with anything though. Neat thing about these old cars is they're cheap to work on. Starters, water pumps, and all that kind of stuff. Fuel, uh, fuel pumps and power steering pumps, you know, $19.99 to $39.99 for the most part. Uh, so, and they're easy. You can find YouTube videos of how to do part of it, most of it. Uh, so that's the test drive, pretty much. Man, it wants to downshift and go, seriously. you drive boy yeah I guess it does Ford got that RX oh that's sold actually Cadillac's not and the uh, Avante is not and the Volvo I still got but this thing is on here and I left it that's sad I'll show you the interior here when it's more evening time and such. Skyhawk. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. That is your test drive, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, lots of clean one and two owner cars. Check my website, and also um, share, like, comment, and check out my channel here. Lots of stuff on here. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. 406-544-6919. Nathan.